Dear Sophia, my PowerPoint presentation is looking very dull. Can you please help me? Yes, sure, Romy. We can add some advanced features of PowerPoint in your presentation. How to add these advanced features? Please tell me. Okay, Romy. Let us learn about this in the chapter. PowerPoint 2016 is a visual and graphical application software primarily used for creating presentations. With PowerPoint, we can create, view and present slideshows that combine text, shapes, pictures, graphs, animation, charts, videos, etc. To make a presentation more attractive, we should know how to work on slides. There are a number of methods which help us in making a beautiful presentation. Adding themes. A theme is a predefined combination of colors, fonts and effects that can be applied to a presentation. PowerPoint 2016 has many built-in themes that allow us to easily create a beautiful presentation. While making the presentation, themes can be applied or changed at any time and on any slide. Applying themes. To make an attractive presentation, we should know how to apply a theme and how to switch to a different theme. All the themes included in PowerPoint are located in the Themes group on the Design tab. To apply a theme, the steps are as follows. Step 1. Click on the Design tab. Step 2. On the Themes group, there are many thumbnails. Each thumbnail represents a theme. Step 3. To access more themes, click on the drop-down arrow. Step 4. Place the cursor over a theme to see a live preview of that theme in the slides. Step 5. Click on the theme which we like to apply it to the slides. After applying the theme, we can change the color and font of the applied theme by clicking on the variance group. Theme Elements Every PowerPoint theme, including the default office theme, has its own theme elements. The Variance group More drop-down options has features of changing color, font, effects and background. Let us know about different theme elements. Selecting theme colors. To apply a theme color, the steps are as follows. Step 1. Click on the Design tab. Step 2. Click on the More drop-down arrow in the Variance group. Step 3. Click on the Colors option. A menu will appear with many color options. Place the cursor over them to see a live preview of that color in the slides. Step 4. Click on the color theme. We like to apply it to the slides. Selecting theme fonts. To apply a theme font, the steps are as follows. Step 1. Click on the design tab. Step 2. Click on the more drop-down arrow in the variance group. Step 3. Click on the fonts option. A menu will appear with many font options. Place the cursor over them to see a live preview of that font in the slides. Step 4. Click on the font theme we like to apply it to the slides. Selecting new theme effects. To apply a theme effect, the steps are as follows. Step 1. Click on the design tab. Step 2. Click on the more drop-down arrow in the variance group. Step 3. Click on the effects option. A menu will appear with various effects options. Place the cursor over them to see a live preview of that effect in the slides. Step 4. Click on the effects theme. We like to apply it to the slides. Selecting new theme background. To apply a theme background, the steps are as follows. Step 1. Click on the design tab. Step 2. Click on the more drop-down arrow in the variance group. Step 3. Click on the background styles option. A menu will appear with various background styles. Place the cursor over them to see a live preview of that background in the slides. Step 4. Click on the background style theme. We like to apply it to the slides. Changing background. The background is like a center stage of our slide. 
By using a correct background, we can add more meaning to our presentation. The steps to change the background of the slides are as follows. Step 1. Click on the slide in which we want to add a background. Step 2. On the Design tab in the Customize group, click on the Format Background option. Step 3. A Format Background task pane will appear on the right side of the window. It has five fill effects. Solid Fill, Gradient Fill, Picture or Texture Fill, Pattern Fill and Slide Background Fill. Step 4. Click on any required radio button from these options. The background will get changed. Working with Slide Master. When we want all our slides to contain the same fonts and images, we can make those changes in one place. Then we require the Slide Master. A Slide Master controls the overall appearance such as formatting and design of each slide layout. When we modify the Slide Master within our presentation, the changes are applied to every slide layout. Every presentation has at least one Slide Master but we can have more than one. The steps to create and apply Slide Master in the presentation are as follows. Step 1. Click on the View tab. Step 2. Click on the Slide Master option in the Master Views group on the View tab to open the Slide Master ribbon. The topmost slide in the left sidebar is the Master Slide. All the slides within this Master template will follow the settings we add on this Master Slide. Step 3. Make changes to the master slide regarding the theme, design, font properties, position and size of the title and other content using the slide master tab. Step 4. Create our own layouts by clicking on the insert layout option in the edit master group of the slide master ribbon. Step 5. After making all the changes, click on the close master view option to close the slide master. The changes made in the master file will appear in all the slides. Inserting Smart Art PowerPoint offers a unique feature called Smart Art, which allows users to add text to predefined art designs. The advantage with Smart Art, although each component of the Smart Art can be edited individually, is that you can also modify the Smart Art as a whole while retaining the settings on each individual component. The steps to add a Smart Art to PowerPoint are as follows. Step 1. Click on the Illustrations group on the Insert tab. Step 2. Click on the Smart Art option to open Choose a Smart Art Graphic dialog box. We can choose the Smart Art category and then pick individual Smart Art types from the list. We can also get a preview and a short description of the graphic in the preview section. Step 3. Select the Smart Art type and click on OK or double click on the Smart Art type to insert the graphic in the slide. Step 4. A graphic is inserted in the slide where we can enter or modify the Smart Art text. Step 5. Add the necessary details and close to complete the Smart Art insertion. The PowerPoint Smart Art formatting features have been grouped under two tabs, Design and Format, under the Smart Art tools. The Format tab is similar to that for pictures and shapes. Let us learn about the Design tab. Animations Animations are special effects that give us the ability to move objects like text, pictures, charts, etc. in any direction in a slideshow. Animations can easily catch the interest of the audience, that is why they are used in almost every presentation. Any element of a slide can be animated. The steps to add animations to a presentation are as follows. Step 1. Select objects like text, picture, word art, etc. that we would like to animate. Step 2. Select the Animations tab and click on the More button present in the Animation group. Step 3. A drop-down gallery will appear with four different kinds of animation effects. These effects are as follows. Entrance causes the object to appear on the screen. Emphasis causes the object to emphasize without appearing or leaving the screen. Exit causes the objects to disappear from the screen. Motion parts make the object move in a specified pattern on the slide. An object can have only animation effect at one time, 
but we can combine multiple effects into one and apply to the desired object. Step 4. Select an animation style. A number tag will appear on the object. This number means when the object is going to enter the presentation. If an object is number 3, it will be the third entry in the presentation. Step 5. Click on the preview button in the preview group. We can set the timing by using the duration option available in the timing group. Select the animation and duration to add animation to the selected object. Transitions. An abrupt switch from one slide to another appears really bad. To make this switch seamless, we can add transition effects to our PowerPoint presentation. It is already mentioned in the chapter that a presentation is a collection of slides that run on a screen to express ideas. Transitions are the effects that are applied when slides are advancing from one to another. Transitions effects give movement to the slides and allow us to specify how the slides should perform transition during the slideshow. Transition effects control the way a slide advances from one to another. The steps to add transition effects to the slides are as follows. Step 1. Select the slide on which transition effect is to be applied. Step 2. Click on the Transitions tab and in the Transition to this slide group, click on the transition effect that we like. The selected slide will preview the effect for us to see. For this, we can click on the Preview option. Step 3. If we want the transition to start when we click the mouse button, click on the On Mouse Click checkbox in the Timing group. Step 4. If we wish to add these changes to all the slides, click on the Apply to All option. The selected transition styles will be added to our slides. Dictionary Theme It is a predefined combination of colors, fonts and effects that can be applied to a presentation. Smart Art It is a predefined art design. Animations These are special effects that give us the ability to move objects like text, pictures, charts, etc. in any direction in a slideshow. Transitions These are the animation-like effects that occur when we move from one slide to next during a presentation. Let's refresh. PowerPoint 2016 is a visual and graphical application primarily used for creating presentations. A slide master controls the overall appearance of each slide layout. Background of slides can be formatted accordingly. We can add a smart art which is a predefined art design in a presentation. Animations and transitions make the presentation very interesting as they make objects and slides move, appear and disappear.